to perform a draw, pull back and slightly to the left and push it with the exact opposite angle that you pulled back. You will see a blue streak on your club as you pull back that indicates you are going to draw your shot. The execution of the fade shot is just the opposite of the draw. Sometimes you will want the ball path to be from left to right. That's a fade. The sharper the angle, the sharper the fade. You should see a yellow streak as you pull back if you're doing this correctly. See that line on the green? That shows you the break if you were to aim directly at the hole. Move the aiming target up, down, left and right to pick your target and let your putter do the rest. The caddy tip will help you find the correct place to aim for. Notice the grid on the green. The break indicators moving on the grid will help you determine the break of the putt. Using the ideal putt camera will help you see the proper line to the hole. After lining your shot up, you still need to gauge the power correctly to sink your putt. To achieve the right amount of distance on your putts, choose the correct power stroke for your putter. Just like any other swing, you need to gauge the correct distance on your backswing to get the ideal power on your putt. An additional tool to help you gauge your putt is the green grid. The color gradient of the grid indicates elevation change and the movement represents the direction of break. Be sure to take this into account when lining up your putt.